Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This video is all about the Cali Rays Rock Slider install for the 5th Gen 4Runner. Now, what you're going to see is an already completed project. The reason for that is because it's so simple, so plug and play that I'm just going to show you guys the highlight features to make it that much easier for you on your install. It doesn't need to be some lengthy video, some lengthy process. Basically, if you look at your vehicle, you align the rock sliders up to the frame, take the emergency brake line off first, take your rock sliders, put them on a floor jack if you're by yourself or find someone else, line it up. I will show you the bottom 13 millimeter bolt that's provided to line that one up first to make the rest of the process streamlined. And then after that, you're just lining it up with the already pre-drilled out spots in your frame and you're lining it up with the notches on the rock sliders. And that's it guys. So I'm gonna show you it. Very, very simple, very streamlined. This isn't a review of the rock sliders. This video is just gonna be how to install them. I'm gonna group up all these videos into a playlist, the unboxing, painting these rock sliders, installation of these rock sliders, and my review that I'll eventually do once I get it off-road into some situations and stuff near trees. I don't have that many rocks here in Florida, but I will get that review for you guys and typical drive noise and stuff if this has more drive noise and day-to-day -day use. So that video will come out in about a week or so. So this right here is your emergency brake line. This is what you're gonna wanna take off first. It's in the same spot on both the passenger side and the driver side. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and toss the one that uh, is stock on the 4Runner. You're gonna need a longer one due to the added thickness of the rock slider. But basically this little bracket right here goes to a non-drilled out hole. And then this one, once it's all lined up, is gonna go through. And what I'm talking about with pre-drilled out lines, every notch in the rock slider that you're gonna put those 10.9 bolts through, uh, is gonna look like this. So as you can see right there, there's already a pre-drilled out thread and all of these bolts in the sliders line up to one of those. So we're on the passenger side right now. You're gonna look for a little spot. Line this up, okay? If you line this bolt up first and put this one through, not all the way tightened down, but you know, a good amount of the way tightened down, the rest should fall into place to an extent. Uh, your forerunner may have come from the factory with all these pre-threaded out spots absolutely perfect. Mine did not. I had about three or four that were just a little off uh, due to some error in the rock slider and some air combined in the frame building process. So with that, I had to drill out just a smidge on a couple holes. But other than that, you do not need to drill into your actual forerunner. I just notched a little bit in the uh, rock slider frame. So if you line that one up in the back, it's going to be easy. For reference as to where you're going to want to slide, put your rock sliders in, uh, this is the front. You have your transmission cross member right here. So the front is gonna have four pre-drilled out spots. Go ahead and locate those. Once you have those located and your emergency brake line is off, just go ahead and slide it under with a floor jack or another person. Go ahead and do that guy first. And then the rest will just fall into place. As you can see here, there are some uh, extra holes. Uh, if a hole does not have a thread near it, do not use it. That's the simplest way to do it. Uh, this one may be for a different type of 4Runner, maybe an earlier model because these are good for from 2010 4Runners up to 2020. So maybe your 2010 will have a spot right there. My 18 does not. So a good thing to know, if it doesn't have thread near it, don't use it. And that's the passenger side. Let's go over to the driver's side. Okay, and now over to the driver's side. It's basically the exact same process. Uh, you wanna locate that middle bolt. Um, you're gonna see for the driver's side that there's three little prongs in the back um, at the bottom of the rock slide. So that's because of these right here. One, two, three. So in addition to removing the emergency brake line on the driver's side, if your 4Runner has a skid plate under the fuel tank, go ahead and take off those. One, two, three. They're 13 millimeters as well and just kind of bring it down maybe half an inch. Uh, it'll kind of fall down on its own. And then after it's down, you're gonna take your rock slider, push it in, and it's gonna go in between your frame rail and the skid plate. So once it goes in, go ahead and locate that middle one. That's your guide for the rest of them. Go ahead and put that one through. Put those ones through if you want. And then like I said again, if there's a thread on the frame where there's a hole, that's where you gotta put these 13 millimeter bolts. If you guys see gray, that's because of anti-seize. Uh, I highly suggest anti-seize just in case you don't like these rock sliders in the future or Cali Race comes out with a better product or you find a better product somewhere. 
you're not going to have these rusts and seas to the frame, uh, especially if you're putting pressure on them and stuff under load with rocks and all that stuff. So I only have a couple that aren't on, uh, as you can see. The rest are really on this frame, except for these ones right here. Uh, these just did not want to line up, like I said, imperfections from Toyota and some from Cali Rays. You know, when you mass produce something, it's not going to be 100% perfect. So all I'm doing is just notching out a little bit on the slider itself. You do not ever have to notch your frame. Don't notch your frame. These are completely bolt on. It's just little misaligned. But for what it has on it, it is completely completely solid so there it is guys in summary super super simple uh the passenger side took me a little bit because i was trying to figure out what i was doing but other than those two not aligning in the front of this one the driver side literally probably took me 45 minutes so to summarize once you do the middle bolt in both the passenger side and the driver side the rest should align up very properly if your forerunner unfortunately has misplaced ones on the frame it may take you a little longer because you're going to have to drill those out but that's what happens with fabricating and stuff but 100 percent these are full bolt-on no modification to the frame maybe slight modification to the rock sliders uh due to those uh imperfections but other than that complete bolt-on those 13 millimeter bolts i did not elect to put the extra brackets on this one i didn't need it uh these are completely solid on there and not going anywhere and that's with those two uh, missing as well but other than that they were very easy and I basically did it by myself with some help from the wife just to hold it at one point just because I didn't feel like messing with floor jacks and everything like that if I had another person in the garage so uh, one thing to note these are their older ones so these do have rivets that was part of my installation process if you elect to get the top plates now they have little bolts uh, with parts that are pre-welded onto uh, the rock slider so at that point you would just put your bolts through cinch them down and that's it you don't have to rivet gun and drill these things out and if you see any imperfections in the powder coating that is me not them i did it myself so little diy save money if this video was helpful for you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up like i said there will be a playlist of everything that i did so far with these uh, if you guys want to go check it out it's in the description and on the little i card and i will catch you all in the next one all right i'll see you guys later Thank you.